You see, the wedding has been called off twice already under the most peculiar circumstances. How do you mean, Mr. Dawson? It was originally scheduled to take place about three months ago. But just a few days before the ceremony, Miss Morgan was stricken with a heart attack. That doesn't sound terribly mysterious. I didn't think so either at first. But when I stopped in at the hospital to pay her a visit, I found out she wasn't even registered. Oh, I see. That's why I was surprised when they set another date for the wedding. But that date was called off, too. Why? There was some difficulty about a license. Mr. Kavanaugh said it was his fault. But I always had a feeling it was hers. Then you don't really know if the ceremony will ever take place. Well, another date has been set for the week from Monday. <laughs> Mr. Dawson? Yes? My name's Richie. Richie? How do you do? I understand you're planning to perform a wedding ceremony next Monday afternoon. Why, yes. You better call it off. I beg your pardon. Call it off, Mr. Dawson. Otherwise, you're going to have trouble. Just what do you mean, young man? I mean you won't get through the ceremony. Take my tip, Padre. Call the wedding off. <laughs> Why are you dragging me back to the office? It may be a long afternoon, honey, and you're much more interesting than a game of solitaire. I resent that, Mr. Romney. Well, I don't know why. Solitaire is my favorite game for one person. I'm getting pretty tired of being taken for granted all the time. Oh, don't be a chump. I feel like a welterweight when I'm with you, baby. I wouldn't swap you for a bowl full of Hedy Lamar. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's funny. What? The door is open. The cleaning woman must have forgotten to lock it. Oh, I hope nothing's missing. It better not be. I... Uh-oh. Nothing's missing, Kathy. Something's been added. What? A man on the floor. Oh, Brad. Is he dead? He certainly looks it. There's blood all over him. Who is it? It's Ricky. <laughs> In your office? That's what I said, O'Hara, not more than an hour ago. Somebody bashed his head in with my best bronze figure. Hold him back, Wait there for me, Brad. I'll be over in six minutes. Okay, I'll sit tight till you get here. Oh, what a mess. What a mess. I don't mind people dying in my office, but they ought to die clean. That's not what she's caused to murder. She should have used poison. She? Or she. That's what I was thinking. There was a dame in this office before we got here. How can you tell? Look at this ashtray. Hmm? Lipstick on the end of a cigarette stub. And it isn't your shade. Is it, Miss Morgan? I don't know, honey. I didn't study her lips. What did you... Sir. What's the matter? I... I heard something move in that closet. Quick, get down, Captain. What are you going to do? Open it up. Well, fancy meeting you here, Mr. Cavanaugh. I... rather wish you had... I don't blame you. Or oh, it's not as bad as all that. I... I didn't kill him, honey. He was dead when I got here. You'll have to figure out a better one than that, Miss Kavanaugh. You're a perfect suspect. I know. It was stupid of me to hide. I, I should have realized how it would look to somebody else. Never mind how it looks. How is it? Well, I I got here about ten minutes ago and found the body just where it is now. As soon as I recognized Richie, I began to wonder who had killed him. How did you recognize Richie? Well, I, I'd seen a picture of him in the police's apartment. Go on. Well... I had a feeling that Richie might have been killed by somebody I cared about. So I looked around to see if any clues had been left behind. Then you heard us outside. Yes. And I don't know why, but I got panicky and dashed in here. Then when you spoke on the phone, I realized the police would come and I'd be discovered. Unless... Unless what? Unless you let me go. Mm, that's a big condition, Mr. Cavanaugh. If you're it, I can get into a lot of trouble. But you're the only one who knows I'm here. You and this young lady. How about it, Bunyan? All right, Mr. Cavanaugh. You can beat it. Thank you. Thanks ever so much. Hey, wait a minute. What are you picking up there? It's my hat. Drop it. But drop it, I said. Don't you know you can't touch anything at the scene of a crime? But if they find my hat here, they'll suspect me. Let them. You didn't do it. The murderer will prove your innocence. Oh, now, Mr. Runyon, you, you can't make me leave this hat here. I can, and I will. Let go. <laughs> yeah, I thought so, Mr. Cavanaugh. 
You had a very good reason for wanting to remove this hat. What do you mean? It isn't yours. See the initials? I, I didn't look. Oh, yes, you did. You're trying to protect someone who was here before you were. Your son, Richard. <laughs> This is important, Parker. Now tell us, when did Richard leave the house? About uh, ten minutes ago. And he was here at home all afternoon? Uh, yes, Mr. Ryan, except for about uh, 15 minutes. When was that? About uh, three o'clock, I should say. He said he had to pick up a railroad reservation. Well, what train, do you know? Well, uh, yes, the uh, eight o'clock flyer to Chicago. And he's making a run for uh, it. Just a minute, Ryan. Uh, did Richard say he was leaving town tonight, Parker? Oh, no, sir, he's not leaving. He hasn't uh, passed or anything. Then why did he pick up a railroad reservation? Oh, that wasn't for him, Mr. Young. Huh? How do you know? Because the chauffeur delivered it to Miss Morgan. I guess she's gone, Brad. Either that or she won't open the door. Come on, come on, open up. We know you're there. Do we? No, but we're going in anyway. Well, how can we? The door's locked. Just give me some room. Oh. Uh, one more and I'll have it. There. I'm going to save us the trouble. Well, hello, Miss Morgan. Don't you want to your door? Not when I'm in a hurry. What's the rush? The train doesn't leave till 8 o'clock, and you're practically all packed. That's no concern of yours, Mr. Run. Oh, look how dressed you got a gun. I'm going to use it, too. You've got to stand in my way. Now, don't be silly, Miss Morgan. I always yield to a gun, especially a pearl-handled one. Stand over there. Both of you. Certainly. I had no intention of stopping you from leaving. I'm glad you're running away. I'll bet you are. I am. Much more incriminating this way. Flight is almost an admission of guilt. Well, that isn't the reason I'm going. Yeah, what is? I can't afford to stay. I'll be convicted of a murder I didn't commit. That doesn't happen very often, Miss Morgan. Oh, but it will this time. There's no way out of it. I had every reason to kill him. Reason isn't enough. You have to have the opportunity. I had that, too. I was with him when he went into your office. The door wasn't locked, and we went in together. But you left before the murder took place. Yes, I did. When I left, Richie was alive. And now you're running away because young Mr. Cavanaugh was good enough to provide you with a ticket. Oh, young Richard Cavanaugh hates me, Mr. Runyon. That ticket he sent me was just another threat. What? For weeks now he's been threatening to kill me if I didn't get out of town and leave his father alone. This afternoon he sent me the ticket. And you're taking it because it comes in mighty handy. That's right. It's a good story, Miss Morgan. But you'll never get on that train. You won't stop me. I won't have to. I'll have the cops pick you up at the station. Stay where you are. Don't be a fool, Miss Morgan. The minute you step out that door, you put a noose around your neck. That's my outlook. You just stay where you are till I'm gone. Okay, sister, go ahead. I will. Goodbye, Mr. Lennon. So long. Count three, Kathy, and then take up the phone. All right. One, two, three. Oh, Fred, what was that? Shot, out in the hall. Stay here, baby. I'll find out what's going on. Oh, oh my arm. My arm. Miss Morgan, what happened? He, he shot me in the arm. Who? I don't know. He was standing there in the dark, over there by the stick. Well, he's gone now. I'm going to get you to a doctor. There's just one thing I want to know first. What? A moment ago, you said you had every reason to kill Richie. What was the reason? He, he was blackmailing me. He wouldn't step out of the way and let me marry Mr. Cavanaugh. What do you mean, he wouldn't step out of the way? Just that, Mr. Runyon. Richie was my husband. Oh. Well, it's about time you called Runyon. Where the devil are you? Over at the doctor's with Kathy and Miss Morgan. Are you sure you're with Miss Morgan? Of course I am. She's in with the doctor right now. Well, you better keep an eye on her. Yeah, what's the matter? She may be pulling a stunt to duck out on you. Didn't you tell me she held you up with a pearl handle revolver? That's right. Well, we found the gun in the hall with two chambers empty. And if you ask me, she shot herself with it. <laughs> Dr. Lewis. Yes? What is it, Mr. Ryan? Have you finished treating Miss Morgan yet? Why, of course. I finished about ten minutes ago. Well, where is she? I don't know. Didn't she come out this way? No. Is there another exit in the back? Why, yes. Then that's the one she must have taken. Call up her hair, Kathy. Quick. 
Tell him to get a hold of Cavanaugh and meet me at the station. There's still time to catch that train. <laughs> How do you know this is the right drawing room, Ronnie? I checked the reservation, Mr. Cavanaugh. All right, O'Hara, push the buzzer. Okay. Do you think she's on this train, Brad? I don't think anything right now, but we got to find out. Yes? Well, Richard Cavanaugh. Hey. What's that? Mr. Runyon, what's this all about? Suppose you tell us, kid. What are you doing in this drawing room? Why, I was uh, just waiting for Miss Morgan. I wanted to make sure she got on the train. Still carrying out your threat? Well... More or less, yes. Is there anything wrong with my being here? Plenty. Ed Ritchie is dead, kid. Just in case you didn't know. And the way it's stacked up right now, you're the one who killed him. What, Runyon? That's ridiculous. Why would Dick want to kill Ritchie? For well, uh, lots of reasons. When you see what I'm driving at, Mr. Cavanaugh, you won't be so anxious to protect him. Don't be a fool. Don't you be one. This kid and your beautiful bride are running out on you together. They're in love with each other. I don't believe it. You don't have to. The jury will. But what about the threats, Brad? And all that stuff about the pawn picker? That was all put on to make it look as if they hated each other. We did. Don't give me that. You left a damaging piece of evidence in my office, kid. Your hat. If that isn't enough to convict you, here's the rest of the proof coming down the aisle now. Miss Morgan. Grab her, O'Hara. When you get an arm for your arrest, this boy. Just a minute. He didn't kill Richie. Stop the noise. He didn't, I tell you. Because I did. Darling, don't say that. True, dear. I asked him to meet me in Runyon's office when I found out the secret he was holding over your head. We had an argument there. I killed him during the struggle. What about the hat? Well, the hat was Richard's all right. I took it by mistake when I left the house this morning. And I may believe I was protecting him by trying to remove it. What was the idea of that? I wanted to throw everybody off the track. I, I was sure he could prove he didn't commit the murder. But the way it worked out, I was really friendly. No, you weren't, Mr. Cavanaugh. I just made it look that way to drag a confession out of you. The case against Richard wouldn't stand up in court. Then why did you trick me? Because I knew you'd never be con convicted. I knew that the one who killed Richard did it in self-defense. The mess you made out of my office proves it. And you wanted me to be acquitted in court. Yeah, that's the idea. Otherwise, you would have had to go through life trying to hide a murder. And that's no life for a guy that's going to get married. <laughs> I guess I was wrong about you, Brad. You have got a heart after all. Mm, I told you that, baby. It's in here somewhere. Uh, but uh, how can I find it? Don't look. Why not? Isn't it any use? I don't know, Kathy. My heart doesn't beat like other people. Oh? What happened to it? Well, it's a long story. Back in the days when I was young, and only 220 pounds, a beautiful girl like you decided to find out what made her sick. Uh -huh. Well, she kind of bungled the job. She cut it up into a lot of little pieces. Nobody's been able to put it back together again. Dad, don't say that. I, uh, I'm sure I know the cure for Humpty Dumpty. Okay with me, honey. If you're game, I'll take the treatment. The Fat Man will be back in a few seconds with a word about next week's adventure. But first, a word from O'Sullivan. O'Sullivan's rubber heels and soles are fully guaranteed. That means if ever a pair of O'Sullivan's do not seem satisfactory... Take them back to your shoe repairman, and a new pair will be attached free. When you buy an O'Sullivan rubber heel and sole, you can be sure that you are getting a quality product at low cost, especially built to give long wear and real comfort. We hope you will remember to insist on O'Sullivan. Next week's story is called A Shot in the Dark. And as the fat man says... No two murderers are alike. With the smart ones, you got to play dumb. With the fools, you have to be clever. But with a madman, it's always a shot in the dark. Oh.